Hey everyone, Oz here. Uh, today I'm doing another interview with one of my uh, students. I have uh, Danny here. Hey Danny, how you doing? Good, Oz. How are you? Great, great. Thank you. Uh, Danny has been with me for, how long has it been, Danny, since you joined the program? Oh, I think we're probably going on six or seven weeks. Okay, it's been about six, seven weeks. Uh, since uh, he found me online and he joined the program. So I wanted to bring him on to um, kind of walk you guys through his journey so far. So it's relatively, I mean, it's, this hasn't been even two months yet. Uh, so because we have people from all walks of lives, we have, um, you know, uh, people with kids and we have people with two jobs. I have, we have a ton of single moms who are trying to make it happen. They're looking for a way to make a better living not having to work for someone else or be able to make a comfortable living while spending more time with their kids and family without having to dedicate pretty much their entire life to uh, survive. And, and I think that's, we have something for that. And it's, instead of me talking about it, I want other people to share their experience. Uh, so you guys get to hear that. So uh, Danny is a perfect example of that. So Danny, if, uh, so if you can kind of uh, take a minute to, introduce us who you are and what you have been doing and how you decided to start your merchant cash advance or alternative lending business. Yeah, sure. So um, I have been in commercial mortgage lending for about 10 years, uh, worked for uh, a smaller banking institution. So <clears throat> I've been in a, a, a salary position. So it's it, for me, I, uh, have seen the income potential if, if I can create my own business with, you know, whether it be commercial mortgages or uh, business loans. And so I started, I started doing a little research uh, probably three or four months ago uh, into certain trying, trying to find opportunities that I could work from home, you know, create my own leads, uh, build my own business from the ground up. Uh, so that's when I, I you know, I, I found one of your uh, advertisements mm -hmm. and we connected and uh, I believe what you were saying is I feel like I'm a good judge of character, even even uh, if I don't really know the person, I feel like I, I can tell if they're shooting straight or not. <clears throat> and after talking to you a couple of times and watching your video, I felt like uh, just the, you know, the, the initial investment was going to be worth it to me. There wasn't a lot of risk, but at the same time, I, I felt like I could trust you. Awesome. So let's talk about the specifics. I know you recently funded your first deal. Let's, let's talk about that. What happened, uh, what kind of situation it was, and how much commission you made. Sure. So it was actually uh, an individual that makes very good income. Um, I think he was an overseas electrical contractor. Mm -hmm. but he got to a point where he wanted to start a business in the States in his hometown because he doesn't, he's getting to the point where at, he's at the age 45, 50, but he doesn't want to travel anymore. He wants to stay home. Mm -hmm. And he had this piece of real estate that was free and clear. Um, he had the income, but his credit was the worst credit i would ever seen from, yeah. from, from divorces. He had a, a bad, you know, bad past as far as that goes, bad spring of luck. And yeah, his credit was like four something, you know, wow. like, I don't know. Uh, yeah. So how much was the funding for that? Or how much did you get funded? Uh, funding amount was, I believe the approval was for 50 and I made 11%. So that was 5,500. 5, okay. So it was a $50,000 and you made $5,500 from that. Yep. And then how long did it take for you to get your commission, your bank account? Uh, it was pretty quick after, you know, after we got, got it funded and everything, it was, I think it was less than a couple of days. Yeah. Usually that's the case. It can be next day or two, three days, but it's pretty fast. So that's awesome. You got your first deal under your belt within a couple of weeks, literally of starting a brand of business. Most businesses do not make any revenue within their first year uh, and any profit, I should say. Uh, but uh, so that you was, know, that guy actually, uh, he actually, he's, a, he's local. He's well, he's close to me within 30 minutes. He actually came back last week and said, uh, you know, if you want, if you want uh, part ownership in this business, I'm starting, I'll, I'll let you buy in too. Cause I really like you. So, wow. 
just throwing that out there. Yeah. <laughs> that's the kind of rapport that we built through the process. Wow. That, that's quite amazing. Uh, yeah, it, it opens all kinds of doors, right? That you didn't know existed before. I didn't, I didn't really see that coming. Was, you know, it was, a, that's what I was talking about. I don't know, just uh, really getting, making good connections and making uh, good relationships if you did. Yeah. Now you have another option to find that guy will be back a lot of money. You know, that? he'll be back. I'm sure he will be back. Oh, oh yeah. Because it's very difficult to find a good hearted partner, especially who keeps his promises. You told them what you can do for him and you did it. <laughs> now he's happy and you're happy. Uh, so, and I know that you're working on a bunch of other deals too, right? And how have you been generating those leads so far? Yeah, so uh, all those leads have been from working the LinkedIn training that you, you have in your program. Okay. Um, so the first... I would say, I mean, it really doesn't take that long to right. start just for, for leads to start flowing in. I think it was literally in the first couple of days. I, I remember, I know you hit me up on messenger. You're like, I, I got my first lead and you're working on this. You're giving yeah. details. That's just amazing. And my first couple of leads, they're, they're, they're not ready to do anything now, mm -hmm. but uh, we're, we have a time to meet up in the future when it, you know, when the time is right and we're going to move forward and do, you know, and do something. Cause you know, like, I don't know the first guy, he was a, a very successful, uh, some kind of trucking business and he has good credit, good income. And he signed a contract to expand his business with a, a local warehouse or something. And he's going to have to buy another truck or two and hire some people. Mm -hmm. So that that's going to happen sometime in the next couple months. Yeah, I remember you talking about it. And this, this person is from your local area? That guy was from Seattle. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you, you live in a very remote place, but you're, you can do business pretty much all over the place that's not even close to where you are right now, right? I have, I have apps for uh, Seattle, uh, New Jersey, Charlotte, North Carolina, mm -hmm. Dallas, Texas, uh, another guy in Texas. Uh, just off the top of my head. I mean, that yeah. just shows you where, um, yeah, it's been all over the place. And, you know, I, I, uh, I kind of intentionally did that. I just, just kind of messing around with the LinkedIn training and doing different areas and just seeing what kind of response I'd get in different mm -hmm. industries, you know, so I was just trying to feel it out and kind of get a hang of it. Yeah. And one, one question I get quite a bit from people who want to join the program is usually, Hey, I, how would people, what would people think of me since I haven't been doing this for a while? I know you talk about being a consultant, but I don't have any experience in the industry and things like that. And you're coming in and within a week or so generating leads. What, what would you say to that? Well, anybody could have done what I, did to generate those leads if you just follow the program and I'm not just saying that because that's all I did I'd never done anything like that before but you know, I just took the time to go through the training and implement each step yeah and you learn as you go but then you get to a point where it's just it's just automatic it's just automatic it gets to the point of just rinse and repeat right so you get a number of leads some of them will turn into super high quality leads you'll fund today. Some of them will be funded next week, next month. All you're doing is building that massive pipeline that keeps coming back. I think people get stuck on this idea of how the others would see themselves when they meet them for the first time. But the reality is people are usually thinking of their own problems. They're looking for a solution. A yeah. business owner who needs funding they don't necessarily go dig you up and, you know, look to see how much experience you have. It's all about how you position, how you present yourself. And I think one of the things that uh, you did greatly and a bunch of other members did is you just set the foundation the right way. So that way it doesn't leave any room for any questions and became a true consultant by being upfront and telling them what you can or you can't do. Right. We got to be realistic sometimes. Uh, but that doesn't change the size of the opportunity. There is a huge segment of the market who needs funding and they're not getting that, that much of a help from the traditional banking system. Yeah. And 
to go back to what you said, there's a lot of these uh, people that I've dealt with that if, if I was trying to sell them hard and not just be uh, up front with them and more of a consultant and just be with, like, I just treat them like, like people, like, like they're my friend, you know, I, I'm just, that's just, that's just how I do business. And people really do appreciate that. They really. Um, so we have a ton of people who come through my YouTube channel and other sources and they have questions in their mind. So what would you, what would your biggest recommendation be for someone who's kind of a little fence about either joining the program or starting the industry? What would you tell them? Well, all I can do is tell my experience and basically what I've done, but I would just say that, um, the investment is very minimal for what the possible return can be um, for any of us that have signed up. But on top of that, uh, there is no get rich quick, but this is, I believe that this is a foundation and a program that if anyone is uh, wants to and they're committed mm -hmm. that they can, become successful and, and then just like you said, rinse and repeat and uh, just scale your business. Yeah. So when I start, when I start making more sales, that that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to scale my business. I'm going to bring in other options to, to increase my revenue streams by, you know, lead. What, what. Absolutely. That's, that's what it comes down to. And what is one thing that you like the most about the training so far that you received from me and the program? Yeah, so the training is very simple. It's literally, what is it, 1 through 30 or 1 through 31, right? You know, it's 31 <laughs> videos. They're all in a category, and you watch one, and you go to the next one, they're all aligned. So, and you've designed it to where they're in order on purpose. You need to go through those, you know, in order to set up your foundation and go to the next step. And it was very obvious to me that you did that in a way that was very beneficial to someone starting out. Mm -hmm. Certain things you do first before you ever start anything else. And so I appreciated that. And um, outside of the training, uh, the group that we have on Facebook, the Facebook group, the, the cash, uh, what, what do you, what's the name of the company? The, Success. Uh, success blueprint. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's uh, okay. Uh, the, the, the people in there are awesome. I mean, I've met, made, made some really good friends, but everyone in that group, I've not seen one person that's not willing to help and that's not positive. I think that's the biggest asset that I'm really, really proud of. The training is great, but I think we um, handpicked amazing people uh, and built a community of like individuals who are so positive and yeah. everyone is just they go out of their way. And I, I know members who jump on the phone with other members to help them out. And obviously there's no financial yeah. interest to them. They're just doing that. And the rest of the industry thinks that this is super competitive. They, they, would, they would hide from each other. We have the total opposite going on. So I am so happy for that. Yeah, I don't know how you did that, Oz. I don't know how you created a, I really don't. I don't know how you created a group of people uh, or gathered a group of people like that, that they're all so like-minded and positive and willing to help because it's, I don't know. It's, I think it's rare, especially in the uh, industry that we're in. Especially in this industry, it's rare. And it's designed that, that I'm not surprised that it's that way because honestly, to this day, if someone wants to join the training, I still talk to them in person. Um, for example, today, we, I, 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 besides the agency stuff, our agency part of the business is almost fully automated, so it doesn't need my overseeing that much. But the program, I, I had about 12 meetings today, and that the purpose of the meeting is not to sell the program, it's for me to filter people. I literally declined three people. They wanted to pay, I didn't, I didn't let them in. Uh, because we have a really good community and if I feel like someone's intentions are not in the right place or they're a little like a pushy sales uh, person, a little sleazy, I, I don't let them in. I think that's one way that we accomplish what we accomplished so far. <laughs> well, I would say that that would probably be it because, you know, I don't know. I've been really surprised in a, in a good way. 
Yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely uh, great to hear that you're noticing that too. Any other uh, last thoughts before we wrap it up? I don't want to keep you long. I know you're a very busy gentleman and your family's looking forward to <laughs> spending time with you. <laughs> yeah, I've got my little, my little two-year-old boy. He, he follows me other, everywhere and he's been... <laughs> He's been dying to get in this room ever since I came I can in. Imagine, yeah. <laughs> no, I, uh, you know, I think I've said a lot, but uh, just that um, for all the people that are already doing it, that might watch this video, or that's in the group or whatnot, or for anyone that that's thinking about it, um, we all start at the same place if we're new to it. Uh, you know, we all know Daniel. Daniel Diaz is part of our group, and mm -hmm. he's. Very successful superstar yeah he said something uh, the other day on Facebook I saw that was just uh, it, it was incredible because he's very successful now but he made a comment he said I didn't start on top I start I started at the bottom yeah so I, I don't know what is he is he five years into the business that this industry yeah. five okay. years and he's tried pretty much everything once until he decided that way to go is to do it online otherwise like for him i think he broke fifty thousand dollars in commission last month right mm -hmm. so i know companies in order for them to get to that level they probably would need to have five six people on the floor a, a, an office overhead and things like that and they would be super miserable because their team is dialing thousands of people every single day and he's he's a father he, he he's he works from home and he's yep. able to accomplish it by himself, by like using the same strategies that you're using and all the other people. Uh, but yeah, so that, that guy is one amazing dude and he's, he's, yeah. he doesn't mind. I'm, I'm sure he's busy, but he doesn't mind helping others too. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He's, he's, he's been a big help to me. And, uh, but I said all that just to make the point that I think he would agree that he didn't start on top No, and none of us do, but He's an example that um, if you are determined and you'll put the work and the time in and you're, you know, stick with it, you know, that, that, could, that could be the end result. That's the example right there. Hey Amen. I can't, I can't disagree with that. Uh, listen, Danny, thanks so much, man. I appreciate your time. I know you had a long day, so I'll let you go. Uh, but great to have you in the program and great to meet you as an individual. So I guess I'll see you soon at the Mastermind event and I'm looking forward yep. to spending more time with you, right? Yep, looking forward to meeting you in, in person and everybody else. Appreciate it. Take care, buddy. Talk to you later. You too. Bye-bye.